A Devon and Cornwall police sergeant has faced a misconduct hearing this week after it was alleged that he formed a relationship with a woman who was a high-risk domestic, domestic violence victim. Now, there's nothing unusual about that. The hard work's already been done by this stage and they are already a broken woman, ready for the picking. The sergeant, who has been offered anonymity yet again, was found by the misconduct panel on June 15th to have been guilty on the, of the act on the balance of probabilities breaching the standards of professional behaviour in relation to honesty and integrity, authority, respect and courtesy, and discreditable conduct. The sergeant was said to have been the investigating officer on the case involving the woman and then entered a relationship with her. He was accused of abusing his position as a police officer as he knew the woman was a high-risk domestic violence victim. The panel found that the officer was in breach of professional standards. The sergeant claimed it was just a friendship, but the panel concluded it was more than just a friendship and that it was in fact a relationship. A misconduct hearing notice says that it is clear to the panel that there is overwhelming evidence that a relationship developed between them swiftly. We do not accept that on any understanding of the difference between a friendship and a relationship, this was a relationship. Given the nature of the messages and the photograph shared consensually between them, it was far more intimate than a friendship would have been within the circumstances of this particular power dynamic that is between a policeman who investigated serious sexual offences of which she was a victim and Miss A. That the only physical exchange was a kiss in a police car does not mean in the context of the sergeant it was not a relationship that had a very different impetus than a friendship would have. We do not know why the ev in evidence the officer clings to this false notion. Miss A in her statement was clear what she thought was happening and this much is clear in the messages between them. The Devon and Cornwall police sergeant's actions were deemed to amount to gross misconduct and he was dismissed without notice, having the added bonus of having his name added to the College of Policing's barred list. Now you would think that being plod would open the door to so many opportunities to make extra money which is why I'm actually surprised that so many of them commit acts of inappropriateness towards women and children. I'm sure if I go back through all my videos, a vast majority of offences will be against women and kids, although I don't have the time to go back through them, so I'm not going to. However, at least he hadn't quit before he was dismissed, which means I can now say... Another one bites the dust. <laughs>